hello welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new what is going on with my necklaces right now i am just gonna take these off because i can't figure it out i came home and got the girls to bed they had their christmas program at school tonight it was so cute stella this was her first christmas program ever and she has been home sick from school the last couple days and that's when they're practicing for the christmas program and so she didn't really know the song but she watched them do the dance and it was it was fine i mean she they definitely practiced it while she was at school last week but she missed all the actual rehearsals the last couple days so it's okay she rocked it it's no big deal and lucy knew every single word no surprise she takes her performances very seriously. Gonna hang out with me while I film this. We are just gonna hop right into the Q&A. Hopefully I can get Boone to lay down. And we will answer some of these questions. I asked for them over on my Instagram. Well, I was just talking to my camera for like a minute and a half. I realized that I wasn't filming anymore. I don't know why, but I only answered one question in that time, so we're just gonna backtrack a little bit. And the first question is, do you and Shane give each other Christmas presents? and the answer is sometimes some years we do some years we don't i feel like we kind of collaborate with each other like this year i told shane i probably wasn't going to get him a christmas present just because he's bought himself some things recently which is totally fine but those would make good christmas gifts so we kind of just agreed with each other that we weren't really going to do christmas presents and then i got him a christmas present so his present is actually for like him and the girls i bought it just the other day and he watches all my videos so i'm not going to tell you what it is right now i did get him a christmas present this year but it does definitely depend i got him like a couple little things last year and he got me my gucci wallet so that was very nice i actually had no idea i was getting the gucci wallet um so that was cool. Yeah, not a very good answer, but it depends on the year, whether or not we do gifts. Do you send out Christmas cards? I do not. I never have, and I probably never will. I love getting people's Christmas cards, but I just feel like it's such a hassle to find people's addresses and do the whole thing. I love receiving them. I'm just probably not gonna send them. Never say never, I guess, but it's not really it's not really the top of my list like at all what is the peak and the pit of your day that's a good question so my peak would be the girls Christmas program it was really freaking cute I love that every year it's just the best I think little kids performing songs is the most adorable thing so that's the peak of my day is watching them at their Christmas program and my pit I don't know it's been a pretty good day Probably that it was pouring rain outside when I had to get both the girls in the car and get them there after I curled their hair and made them all nice. Stella had white tights on. It was kind of a cluster. I guess my actual pit of the day was that Shane couldn't come to their Christmas program, which she was very, very bummed about. I recorded the whole thing, but he had to go to his um, sales meeting, his end of the year sales meeting. So that's kind of my pit, I guess, but it's been a good day. There's a lot of holiday questions. This one says favorite part of the holidays, and that is just the family time and the memories you make. It's my favorite thing ever. I love the extra time that I get to spend with family. Stretch from like Thanksgiving to Christmas. It's so much fun. I feel like my family sees each other so much, just so in love with doing the holidays for my kids like just making them such a magical experience and giving them all these fun memories it brings me so much joy i love just making the holidays a special time for the girls it's my favorite thing this question is how are you doing how has life been treating you lately I'm doing well thank you for asking if you guys have followed me over on instagram or you saw like a few vlogs back i talked about how i was super sick with the flu last month it knocked me on my ass for almost two weeks and then once i finally started feeling better i still had no energy it was driving me nuts because i'm such a busy body i just like to be doing things like be bopping around all the time and i just like physically couldn't but right around like the five week mark four or five i don't remember how far out am i um it was just like two weeks ago that i finally started feeling like myself again and it's been amazing so i'm doing much much better and i'm good thank you for asking what's your skincare routine look like i do not have a very complicated skincare routine at all i really just wash my face with a um i have no idea how to say it la roche 
Jose. I use their whatever gentle cleanser in the shower. So that's all I use on my face to like cleanse it. I know a lot of people use like cleansing balms and stuff. I do not. I do use micellar water whenever I have um, eye makeup on. So I'll use micellar water on my eyes and get kind of like the base layer off. And then I wash my face. And then when I get out of the shower, I use the Pharmacy Honey Glow. I've been loving that one. Sorry, petting my dog down here. I have been loving that one. It is pretty expensive, but I feel like it really moisturizes my face. And I have extremely dry skin. Um, I actually went and got a facial last week, and she like did the whole exfoliation, um, hydrating stuff. And she told me that I need to get an exfoliator or an exfoliant... I don't know um, to use once a week to get all my dead skin off like my dry skin and then re moisturize it so I need to get one of those if you have any recommendations but yeah that is all I do nothing too crazy would you ever consider Botox or any plastic surgery and yes definitely I will get Botox at some point I never have but originally I was actually planning on getting it like this year and then I kind of told myself I'd hold off a little longer. So I will eventually get Botox or Dysport or something. I just kind of want some in my forehead. Honestly, I kind of want a boob job. So we will see what the future holds for me. So maybe a little Botox, maybe some boobs. That's all. Do you have any trips coming up? And yes, I do. I'm so excited because I actually booked flights today for Disney World. So we are going to Disney World in February and I'm super excited. Shane is not coming with. So it's gonna be my oldest sister, my youngest sister, me and the girls. And we are surprising my baby sister for her birthday and I'm so excited about it. Her birthday's in January and then we will go a month later. Shane thinks that I should surprise the girls. It's gonna be really hard to not talk about because I plan on like filming a pack with me and everything. So it's gonna be kind of hard to do, but I think I can make it work. I just feel like it would be the most insane core memory. I'd wake my kids up and be like, you're not going to school today. We're hopping on a plane and we're going to Disney World. We're also going to Montana for, uh, Shane's cousin is getting married in Montana this summer. So we're gonna take the girls out there and I'm really excited because my aunt and uncle live out there. See the sights, you know, we wanna, I think we might drive, which is very, ambitious um it's a very long drive from the midwest but i think we might do it so that's another big trip that we're going to be working on this one says what are you asking for for christmas shane keeps badgering me and asking me what he can get me for christmas and i just have no ideas i would like new bedding but i don't really need shane to get that for me for christmas like we share a bank account and it's our bed you know what i mean so it's like it's not really a christmas present it's just kind of like an expense for our home one that i don't actually want because i think it's just grossly overpriced but one thing that i would love is the dyson air wrap it really intrigues me i used to think it was so stupid <laughs> i was like i would not use that like who's buying that i would use it i think i would love it <laughs> like a lot but it's $600 and that is insane to me. Kind of like a nice iPad for myself. One that I can get like a cover for that has like a keyboard on it. And I just, the only reason I think I would love an iPad is because I want the Apple pen. Like I want to write notes on it. I want to like doodle. But again, I don't need an expensive iPad to doodle. <laughs> so I'm not actually asking for those things. It's just kind of like those are two things that I would... I would take the reason that I haven't told Shane anything is because everything that I want is like out of stock right now because I know that shark makes um, an air wrap like their version of an air wrap and I would much rather just get the like $260 version over the Dyson but I can't find it in stock the shark is sold out like on all the other websites but it is on their actual shark website but last time I checked it was like back ordered till February and I don't need a gift to get here in February. Then I really want those Ugg slippers that everyone and their mother has because you guys know I love my slippers. Um, those are also sold out everywhere, like the Tasman slippers. Um, and then I also want the Clifton 8s, the Hoka's in eggnog. And those are also <laughs> sold out everywhere. So, so all of that is to say I, I'm not asking for anything. I'm just happy to be here and wrapping all these presents for everybody else that's what brings me true unexplainable joy is doing this for everybody else
It brings me so much joy. How often does Shane suggest date nights? My husband never puts the effort in. The beginning of the year, Shane put like on his goal thing, like he has a list of goals on his whiteboard in his office. And one of his goals was one dinner date a month with me. So he was asking me to go on dinner dates and just purely him putting that on his whiteboard made me feel so special. <laughs> just strictly seeing that written on his board. So he was asking me to go on dinner dates with him. Um, and it was so nice because he actually like got a hold of my mom to keep the girls while we went and did that. Um, so he did that for several months, but it's been a little bit now. So we probably have some dates to catch up on. It makes me sad that you think your husband isn't putting the effort in, but I think you honestly have to talk to him about it and tell him like, this is a priority for me, like one-on-one -on -one time. Obviously it's not always realistic if you don't have childcare or like, you know, there's plenty of things that go into it. But even if you aren't leaving the house, he can still make the effort like after the kids go to bed. I don't know that you have kids. I'm just assuming because a lot of people that follow me have kids. Um, like after you put the kids to bed, just like watch a movie on the couch together or like play a game together. Even like last night, Shane and I arm wrestled, arm wrestled after our kids were in bed. We're just sitting at the coffee table, arm wrestling. Weird, but it's quality time, which I feel like is what's most important. So sit him down, tell him he needs to put some effort in. I'm gonna answer a few of these like really quick and then we'll do a couple more questions and be done. So this one says, what software do you use to edit your videos? And I use iMovie for everything on my MacBook. It's all I've ever used and I love it. What do you use on your nails? Do you go to a salon? And I do my own gel nails at home and it's just kind of like a fun little hobby for me. I like to sit down every like 10 days or so and just take my time, watch a show, do my nails. Um, I don't do any crazy designs or anything, but I will link the kit that I have down below. It's the Beatles brand from Amazon and I really like it. Have you ever smoked or vaped weed? Um, no, I have not ever done that in my whole entire life. Would you be happy or upset if you had three girls? Um, I would never ever be upset about that. Would I love a boy? Absolutely, but I love my girls and no, I would not be upset if I had three girls. What car do you drive and do you like it? I drive a Ford Explorer and I love, love, love my Explorer so much. Saw you're going to Disney, wish it wasn't so expensive. How are you going twice? It is so expensive, you're right about that. And full complete transparency, when we went in February of this year, Shane's mom paid for it. We did not pay for that trip. We paid for our flights and we paid for her flight, but she paid for the trip at Disney, which is like such a blessing. She's amazing. Um, because yes, it's a very, it is a very expensive place, just difficult for families to go there now. It's just a lot of money to set aside. Um, the one thing I will say about Disney that's kind of nice is if you book your trip like a year in advance, you can, or however far out you can do that, I think you can do it a year in advance, um, but you can be paying on it like that day and you can pay all throughout the next year. So it is like manageable in that way. Obviously that's not happening this trip because we just planned it a week ago and we're going again in like eight weeks. This time around, um, like I said, I'm going with my two sisters. So they are paying their own way and then i'm paying for me and the girls so i need to wrap this up because my elf alarm is going off i basically just brought it up to shane and i thought it would be really fun to go with Lindsay and bailey and he told me to take them so i'm very grateful and now i'm gonna answer the last question that's a little rude are you pregnant your belly has been sticking out lately in some of your videos um thank you for noticing <laughs> I've gained like six pounds in the last few months from just not working out consistently and not like keeping my nutrition in tip top shape by any means. So that's probably why my belly is sticking out a little. If I were pregnant, you would know because I would be barfing all over the place and I probably wouldn't be posting very much. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. Um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you soon. <laughs> Goodbye.